<clears throat> I'm upstairs today because downstairs is too cold. It's like sub-zero, you know, all over the tri-state area, all over the country. So I picked up a few things. Just want to show you. For $2.99 with 25% uh, off, Metal Slug 3. It's uh, pretty beat up, no manual. Has a couple scratches, so I'll check it out, see if it works. That's pretty cool. And I got this plushie for a dollar with 25% uh, with, uh, off. It's one of the ghosts from uh, Pac Man. It was pretty dirty. I used a lint remover and I rubbed it all over and I sprayed it down with Lysol. I didn't want to throw it in the wash because um, I'm not sure if it's going to fade or get all pilly. Um, but I'm not too content with uh, the condition of it. And this was originally in a Blockbuster case. It doesn't have the manual. I think it usually comes with a large like double CD case. If you know anything, it's Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories, and I put it in this uh, replacement case. It came in a, a DVD case from Blockbuster, as I mentioned. So that was uh, $3.99 with 25% off. I'm spending big bucks these days. $3.99 for this garbage. $1.99. Okay, there's a funny story behind this. Crash Bandicoot 2. Um, I was online to pay for my stuff and then they brought out a whole bunch of PS1 games and I went through them. I had to get offline and I went through and I nabbed this before anyone else got to it. There was a whole swarm of people. It's like when you leave, uh, when you leave an ice cream cone on the, on the sidewalk. It falls out from your, uh, your hand and you see a bunch of ants, ants there like five minutes later. That's how it is with the video games. Everyone wants them. And the thrift stores know this. They know. But they don't know what game is expensive, what's not. That's why you see sports games for $20. And speaking about that, uh, $5.99, Fester's Quest in the box. Not, not in any collectible condition at all. It's pretty beat up. I know a lot of people out there on YouTube would find this horrendous. $5.99, so I paid $4.80 after tax. And the manual inside looks like it has some kind of water damage, but aside from that, it's okay. What do you think? Box game, $5.99. It was the only one there. Maybe they had better ones. You know, maybe they had Final Fantasy or something. Who knows? And uh, that's it for the thrift store finds. I went to GameStop because I was looking for a particular game. They had. Um, it was, it was quite a ways away from here, like uh, 20 minutes away when I went, and I found Lost in Shadow complete. Lost in Shadow for $5, and then I have some kind of discount because I'm a pro member. So yeah, about five bucks I paid for this. And Onichanbara Bikini Zombie Slayers. No, I'm not desperate. I just like this game. It's a hack and slash. You play it for about 20 minutes or so, 25 minutes, and it gets a little bit boring, but for those first 25 minutes, it's a stress reliever in more ways than one. Graphics look like shit, but it, it's pretty cool. I remember playing the uh, Japanese version and not knowing how to get around, not knowing exactly what's going on, so now to have the American English version, that's cool. And uh, picked up some PS1 games. Yeah, GameStop. You know how I do. Um, King of Fighters 11 for the PS2 disc only. So it was $7.99. I think it was $2 because it had 75% off. And One Piece Pirates Carnival. This one was uh, $2.99, 75% off. I don't know how much that is. Uh, under a buck after tax. So that's that's essentially what it is. At GameStop I also asked the guy for any extra posters or paraphernalia they're throwing out and I got this poster Elder Scrolls uh, never played it and this uh, Castlevania poster. 
was uh, watching Poop Ninja's video, one of his uh, videos regarding his game room, and uh, he discussed uh, Jew Wario, how uh, that gentleman passed away. I actually didn't know anything about Jew Wario. There's like a billion channels out there regarding this subject matter, and um, I'm watching his videos in retrospect, knowing you know everything that's occurred. And uh, I urge everyone out there that's watching this and is not aware of Jew Wario to check out his channel. I'm not going to discuss what happened, but uh, he's in a better place now. And um, yeah, he discusses things about Japanese games and how to import. He also talks about um, like sweets from other countries, candies and stuff like that. So take a look. He seems like a nice guy, or he was a nice guy. So yeah.